Yo, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are uh, gonna gonna do another video here in Fisher Online. Um, last week we did a video when 38.1 came out, and uh, before you know it, 38.2 is hit. So let's talk about a most recent content update here for Fisher Online, and uh, we have a heavy class match rod that's been added to the shop. So in the last video, someone had mentioned, "Hey, why don't you show how much those." match rods cost in the store well now we have new new rods that i think are actually going to line up a lot more directly with the premium rod that, that we now have um, a way to purchase in game it seems and that's been added to france ukraine and caspian sea so i kind of feel like maybe there's a clue on the places where we're really you know should be using these but nonetheless so uh, a 45 kilo feeder rod uh, a new coil line uh, wagglers in three colors and we've got new leashes and then here's in terms of fish behavior the intensity of biting silver carp and grass carp on boilies is reduced so we're gonna see less of those on boilies but the intensity of biting on technoplankton is increased and then it just says other minor fixes and just to mention, I'm not actually playing on the beta build. Um, it's something I've thought about doing, and maybe we'll look into that soon. But uh, it is cool to see in the beta build right now, there's some experimental lighting going on and uh, water in the Caspian Sea. Uh, some changes with that. So let's go ahead and um, actually real quick, I wanted to look color filter. I don't know if I'm noticing a difference there. Someone had mentioned in my stream this weekend that there might have been some, for folks that feel like the colors are a little bland in this game, that there might be some some ways to, to adjust that. All right, so what are we looking at here? These are the new ones, okay? So these are the match rods, right? The Bombard. Now for the very strongest one, notice that you do need 10 tournament tokens. If you don't know how to get those, uh, you can actually trade in your, um, what do they call these, the angler's tokens you get. You can turn them in at a three to one ratio for tournament tokens. So like I have nine more than I would need. So that would be what, 27 of my angler's tokens would give me the amount I need for these new Bombard series. Before this, at least on this map, the highest you could get was 28 kilo rods. So this is a big deal, right? A really big increase to go up to this 45 kilo match rod. Uh, and it looks looks like it would it would be really cool looking. I mean, of course, I don't have one. And I'm kind of good, to be honest with you right now, with, uh, with what I've got. Of course, this is the Sal Salamo... Um, spinning reel that I presume that we would want to put with it. It also requires the 10 tur tournament tokens um, and 31,000 silver. So a little bit of a save there. How much was the rod, by the way? I saw it, but I didn't really compute 50,000 silver plus the 10. So that is a total of like 81,000 plus for just the rod and reel. Uh, and then line, which line are we supposed to be using on this? Probably this, right? You could use a 44 cal cal uh, kilo or even 48 kilo, I guess. 44 kilo. We'll see what we have on the one that I have. Yeah, we've got 42 kilo on this one. And then, so there should be some new leashes. Leaders, that is. So we could go up to 43, which would be one stronger than my current line. We'll see, this goes up to 42, this rod goes up to 43. So we really wanna be at like 42. Is there not a leash that kind of gets? Well, we could do 41.8. And that would actually, we'd get a little more strength out of our current setup, so I may do that eventually. And then here are the new wagglers, right? We've got 2012 C1 through C3. Again, just for comparison, we're using a 20, 12 in 
Is that not one of the... Looks like the one I have is a little slightly different, um, but similar, similar. And again, the one I have is the, is the premium one. Okay, so let's go do a little fishing and we will include the, um, we'll do a little bit of float fishing on the side. I'm gonna go back to my normal spot. We'll see like in that spot at least, it feels like the bite rate on the, um, on the uh, the new float bait has changed the plankton bait and another suggestion I got while streaming I think from somebody that had watched my video and they may have even posted this message on the video, I can't remember, but they had suggested trying two and a half meter depth. So we'll start off with that because we know it's about four meter depth over here in most of the areas that we're gonna be fishing at. So we'll try the two and a half meter depth on the float run. And we'll just get in a little bit of fishing for you here on this video. The daily is really interesting. It's golden carp uh, up to 52 grams, which is a lot. But the good news about that is if you really try to get that daily done, you're going to make a ton of silver on all of those golden carps you catch. But to be fair, that's going to be a long it's gonna take a long time to get that many. Okay, so what do we wanna use here? I think we wanna do tiger nut again. Remember how good tiger nut worked the last time we were out here? And then, always just kinda of like casting a little to the left and then sort of straight ahead on the other two. But then this is a little bit harder choice. If you look at records on golden, the largest now has been called on Kurkuma. So let's try that one over here as well. We do have some Kurkuma. Size three, everything looks right. And then here is our Technoplankton setup. And we're gonna go to two and a half meters depth and I believe we had a little more success just kind of right over here towards the end of our last video so let's see what the bite rate seems like over there and we can move it around if we need to let's see if we can get some fish here uh, at France in the Fisher online someone had also told me in case you want to try this, if you're really wanting to go for grass carp and stuff like that, that this smaller lake over here can be really good for that. But because we have this golden carp daily, hoping some more income quests are going to pop here. Because we have this golden carp daily, I think being fishing over here is the smart play. This is I've never seen a higher percentage of golden carp than fishing on the big lake over in this area. So what have we caught on Technoplankton over here? I think we've gotten both the grass carp as well as the um, silver carp motley. And you can see a new record has been caught on this Technoplankton bait. I think that's the only record right now on Technoplankton. Plankton. I don't think I've seen anything else come out of, at least over here, fishing with this new bait. I think we've got a fish on. All right, so let's see what we have here species-wise. So that's just a carp, huh? Maybe throw it a little farther out this time.
And my goal right now in the Fisher Own line is just to try to save as much silver as possible. I spent all of my silver to get this, the two fairly nice carp rigs we have. And, but now I want to save because I'm hoping that when I get to Finland, which we're level 24, I think it's going to be level 26. I hope that I can afford to start putting some rigs together that will allow me to do um, trolling. It just looks like it'll be a lot of fun, so that's my hope. So, of course, we're wanting this to start the golden cart. Daily. We'll see if it is a golden. That does not look like a golden to me, but it could just be that it's completely in the shadows of the water, the fish that's on the second line. We still want to watch our float rod because if we get a fish on, we need to, to be able to pick that one up real quick and at least set the hook. be a good eight eight to ten kilo golden carp if it's a golden and it may not be actually looks like it's a leather maybe oh just a large carp sorry okay all right again we need to at least set this hook This might be small enough just to bring it in real quick. It's another carp, isn't it? So, so far, we're not on the grass carp at all. It's a leather. All right, so let's just kind of cast out in front of us here. See what that looks like. I'm really curious if we'll ever get any hook size variety on the new technoplankton hooks that we're using for the float rod. Perhaps not, but yeah, this is another carp. Not the golden variety. Large leather. 1800 XP though. Not bad at all. As we continue to slowly climb towards 25. Getting a nibble out there for sure. Maybe it's going away though. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, early in the game, the dailies are so, um, so powerful. But if you look at our current daily, if we complete 52 kilos of golden carp, we'll get an angler token, which is nice as we slowly save towards some of the premium type lures and baits and stuff that you can only get with angler and tournament tokens. But the experience reward is a lot. I mean, it's 2,160 experience. But if you look, once you get to this level, you know, that it's just not as much compared to the fish that you're able to catch versus what it was at earlier levels. So I guess what I'm saying is I, I think it's fun to still go for the dailies because it get, keeps variety in the game. But if there's a daily that I don't end up hitting it, like this golden carp, I mean, I, I would have to sit here a long time, I feel like, to get that many kilos in golden carp. Certainly, I'm not going to make a video that long. Um, but I'm kind of okay with that because if I get even just three or four nice golden carp, we're going to get a lot more XP even just for one of them than we would for that daily. So again, it's not the, the ratio seems to change the higher level you get on how powerful that daily is. So maybe the bite rate's even a little slower where we have it right now. Although we did have that nibble, it just didn't turn into anything. I may try throwing it a little bit to the right, perhaps. Kind of right over there, maybe a 75 to 80% cast in that direction. And see what that feels like. It's eight in the morning, we should be getting some pretty decent bites by now. I have noticed in the past, sometimes when all of the golden carp start coming in, sometimes that feels like that's in the afternoon. Um, and it, but that may just be coincidental of like, that's when I've fished out here the most. I just have happened to have been out here in the afternoon and evening a lot. There we go. So the kicker will be if we end up catching a really nice fish out here, it might be worth going back even though it was a slower, a slower bite rate. But if it's just another like, you know, four or five kilo carp, then we'll try somewhere else. That appears to be pretty small to me. I love how the fish dive down sometimes and Oh, that is, that is going to be. I believe that's going to be a grass carp, but let's wait until we can actually see it. Yeah, that's a grass carp. So a five kilo grass carp? Hmm. All right, let's do what we said we were going to try. We're going to have to really zoom in to keep an eye on the float way out there, but... We'll give it a try. Now it should still, yeah, we're good. And I know we saw on the records that the largest golden had been caught on I guess the boilie we're using on our middle line, but it might be worth putting strawberry and fruit out there because those are the boilies that I've seen to have caught the highest percentage of golden zone. But if you look in chat, like I'm just not seeing any goldens pulled in right now. I'm, th I'm wondering if it's just a time of day or weather or some other factor that's, they're just not coming in a lot at the moment. All right, let's try strawberry on the line for a little bit.
It's a nice carp though. I mean, it's hard to complain about the carp we're catching. All right, strawberry. Right, we gotta watch it because all right so that's a decent fish but overall I'd say this is probably a better one so let's just focus on getting this one in first and hope that that one can hold the fish on there. We're about to see that fish surface, I think. Okay, that looks like just a regular carp or something. Not a grass, not a silver motley. And I suspect that this one might be a little bigger, but we'll see. Now, it could get off with that slack in the line. But I'd rather take my chances with making sure we get this one in first. And at least temporarily, we're going to switch this bait to fruits, unless this ends up being a golden. Again, I'm looking in chat, still seeing zero golden carp caught. I believe that's a normal carp. Yep. So we'll try fruits on this one. Kind of see what the bite rate's like. And uh, just kind of experiment a little bit with them. All right, let's see what we've got here on the technoplankton though. Because I don't believe this is a motley or a grass carp. I think this is going to be... Might be a little more decent than I thought at first. That one's not pulling line, so it's probably a little on the smaller size. Okay, now this kind of looked like a motley all of a sudden. It's a little thinner than it should be. Let's get a good look at it, though. No, that's just going to be... That's going to be a leather, right? Large leather carp, but look at that XP. Really good XP. Um, all right, so let's just do this right out here. Sort of got to watch our net. We're going to have to speed over real quick and sell fish relatively soon. So fruit's got a bite pretty quick there, didn't it? But it's small. It's a small carp. And 
this is our first one on strawberry. So let's see what we got here. It's gonna be a decent, decent fish here. Leather, I would say it's a leather. Eighteen hundred experience. So let's see. We are, yeah, we're like one nice fish away from being full. Pretty good net here though. Still no goldens in chat. Let's see if this tops us off or if we have that like sliver of a room for one more. Alright, so that's it. So I don't really want this just sitting there while we're running, making the run to the... I don't mind this one catching another fish because it'll hold longer. But we'll make a quick run, we'll come back, try to catch a couple more fish, and then we'll wrap this video up. It's probably my imagination, but I feel like the boat is slightly slower than it was. That may not be true at all. hundred thirty eight silver so that's pretty good uh, just for reference though the mission the, the daily mission if we can finish it is 541 silver but again that's that for me would be I mean 
it's going to be multiple nets of, of golden carp because we're also going to be catching other fish at the same time. So if you actually, oh, there's the first golden carp I've seen. So someone just had one. Maybe they start to come in now a little bit. Let's, let's give it a few more minutes, see what we see. And of course, specifically for this daily, me actually having a third feeder carp rod would probably be advantageous. Although maybe you can hit the, maybe you can hit the goldens on, on the float as well. Um, I'm just not sure. All right, so let's see what we've got. Okay, it's a decent one. And that does seem like a lot of silver for those really strong match rods. But remember, we were looking at the very strongest, the most expensive. Even among the new ones, there are other options, less expensive options. Options that don't require the tokens, that are just have a silver cost. So this is a very small fish. There's a second golden carp I see in chat. Very small carp. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? just a few fish away from being halfway through 24 to 25. Oh, that's a nice fish, I think. I wish it would be a golden, but it, it looks to me like it might just be a really nice leather. one of those 10 plus leathers but it's in the perfect position because we can see it and we can also see our float at the same time but on this line whenever it's a fish is able to pull line a little bit you know it's a pretty nice one a strong one at least and there's a third golden I've seen come into chat
average size of golden carp. I mean, I'm just thinking you probably need to catch seven to eight goldens to meet that daily. I feel like I get a lot of golden carp that are around that five or six kilo, but then you get a few mixed in that are kind of eight to 10 kilo. So I guess it just depends on your ratios there, but you're gonna need quite a few of them. But we have a lot of time as well if we if we decide to put the time in and going for it. It's going to be another leather. I was correct. It's a nice leather though. 15 and a half kilos over 2000 XP. Let's see if we can surface this carp again. Get a look at him. Oh, okay. Hold on. Is that going to be a real bite over on our float? Yep, it is. Oh, that's a nice one too. This might be one of those motleys. Let's see. Nope, looks like a giant leather. So the leathers are so strong out here today. And it's interesting, I really do get some variety. My experience in fishing out in this same spot. Now I'm not clipped at a certain distance, so I'm not always hitting the same spot of where I'm casting, but the same area of fishing. I have really different experiences out here from sort of session to session. Wow, that is a big leather. 2700 XP. My goodness. There's our first golden carp. So that's eight and a half kilos. That gets us started and that was on the fruit spoilies. So we'll see if I continue to go for the goldens. One thing I thought that we could do really quick before we wrap this video up is go over to that other pond, just pick a spot and see if we don't hook into a grass carp or a silver motley over there in that other pond with the float. So we'll fast travel to here. Let's go ahead and sell the fish that we do have. Another 330 silver. Just really good silver out here once you have the carp gear to, to, to focus on it. Uh, yeah, it's not what we want to do. Look at uh, float rods. Yeah, so the out of the new rods, you can get one for only 12,000. And that's going to be 35 kilo, or the middle one is 24,000, 50,000 for the. So 12,000, 35, and then you get the, the uh, 35 reel, which is about the same price. So like you could get into a really nice float rod for more like 25,000 versus 
you know, spending as much silver as it takes to get into the big one. Uh, let's go over here where these lilies are. Most of the time I've spent in this, in this side of the lake has been, and it's not been that much time, but it's been going when I've tried to do the pond trout dailies and stuff like that. I kind of like this spot here for pond trout, but let's maybe try over here and see what our float rod does kind of over in this spot. We won't cast it too far out and we'll get that in the water first. Really just a short cast just past the lilies here. That went into the lilies, is that okay? I'm actually not sure yeah, we're not going to have the same depth. Let's go back to one meter depth over here. Because this isn't as near as deep a water on this side, at least where we're casting. And then we'll just put these out. I don't really know where I want to go with these, actually. Maybe just straight out on this one. And again, I've, I've kind of never done this, like just gone for regular carp over here in this lake. So I, I'm most curious about the float. I don't know, you know, what the carp variety is like over here. From what I've heard, this is a good area to try to hit these grass carp and maybe the silver motley as well. So we'll just give it a couple minutes and like I said, we'll wrap this video up, but I do enjoy how much content is sort of a constant drip of content and changes and adjustments that the developers are making. And it's kind of neat to keep an eye on. Back there sometimes is where people will fish for frogs, maybe. And like I said, right... Wait, is that going off? It is. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, goodness. We sure did miss it there, didn't we? And then right over here, which actually we're kind of fishing in the same spot. There's a lot of um, pond trout that can be caught with shrimp, again, on match rods, kind of in this area. And I do have multiple. I've got two match rods that go up to 16 kilo. that are just strong enough to kind of go for those pond trout. So we now have three match rods, I guess. So if, if when I'm trying to do the pond trout daily, that'll be a little more manageable. Typically, if I'm in a hurry and just have a few minutes, I'll just fish off this main dock right where you spawn in at. But I tend to get almost all leathers, maybe a few mirrors and regular carp mixed in, but a lot of leathers over here. And interestingly enough, off the island, we were getting a lot of leathers today as well. But like I said, I just haven't done a lot of carp fishing over on this lake. Good. I was hoping one of these would go off before we wrapped it up just to see what it is over here. It's on a size three hook. So if the carp are a little smaller in this lake, it might be that we're better off with a smaller hook, but Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just a small leather, I think. I wish I could remember the specific, um, the specific spot. Like I said, somebody in, in my stream recently was telling me that they, they like going for grass carp out here. I mean, it could be up there, I guess, but that they, they were making it sound like with mat rods, they could kind of fill up a net relatively quickly over in this lake with, um, catching grass carp. I'll have to experiment more with that another time. Yeah, so just in a short amount of time, we've done really well silver-wise. You can make a pretty good amount of silver in a short amount of time. Carp fishing at France, I find. Um, so anyway, again, the uh, 38.2 update, mostly having to do with uh, float fishing these match rods that he's added, as well as some changes to the bite rate regarding boilies versus floats when you're going for specific, like the grass carp and such. But um, as always, thanks for watching. Hope this was uh, helpful and entertaining. I appreciate you uh, watching this and supporting me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much.